All right, today we got a new battery. Let's open it up. And this battery is from Sundagy. That's a neat looking case. So that's something different. And this is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. You can max charge at 100 amps. You can discharge at 100 amps, continuous, and you can peak discharge at 200 amps. And let's get a weight on this battery. And it's coming out at 22.4 pounds. Okay, and the manual states that we can do four in series and four in parallel. All right, so we got the battery charging up. We'll be back when it's complete. The battery's fully charged. We got it connected to our shunt so we can do a capacity test. So let's turn on the inverter. Running the heater as a load as always. And we are pulling 54.8 amps, 720 watts. So we'll just let that run and we'll be back whenever it's complete. All right, so here we are. We're down to 1%, 99.3 amp hours right now, 1,251 watt hours. So almost there. All right, we're about to hit full capacity. There we go, 100 amp hours. We'll just let it keep going and see what we get to. All right, so our inverter is complaining over here. We'll go ahead and shut her down. And we got to 101.46 amp hours. All right, and we got the lid all popped loose here. So let's open it up. There we go. Let's see if we can get this out. And so there's the inside of the case. A little double-sided sticky pad down there. Makes it tough to get these cells out. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume, okay, that's the top of the cells. And for the positives, we've got a six gauge wire. And on the negative, we've got two eight gauge wires. So let's see if we can cut this. There we go. There's our BMS. And it says S A I H A N G. That's the brand. It's S H 14 A 0 B 8 7 5 A 1. If that means anything to anybody, that's what it is. It says 100 amp. Looks like it's a 100 amp, 100 amp, so maybe a 100 amp discharge, 100 amp charge. It's not the most secure. It's, it seems like it's a little bit janky in there. I think it's got a double-sided, it's kind of like double-sided tape on top of a piece of fiberboard that's sitting on top of the cells. Now the cells have laser welded aluminum bus bars. I do see a relief for expansion in the middle of the bus bar here. That's good. We have a thermal probe right here. So we can test that and see if we've got low temperature protection. 
me see if this thing will scan it. Okay. We got a scan and it's unknown. It doesn't know the manufacturer. It says the cells are 50 amp, 50 amp hours. That's wrong. So it doesn't know. It doesn't know these cells. These are not 50 amp hour cells. They're 100 amp hours. Yeah. So we don't know what the cells are, but that's the code. It's zero. It's zero eight M C B S O one two two J four zero A C A N zero 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 eight one zero. All right, so let's try, let's see if this has low temperature protection. Okay, you can see we're charging at 29 amps here. And let's try to freeze this guy up and see if he'll stop charging. Not yet. There we go. So we do in fact have low temperature protection. Very nice. We warmed it back up and we're back to charging. All right. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for the video. As always, let me know what you think about this battery. I'll leave links in the description and I'll catch you on the next one.